Hello, I'm Carl at Trident Fly Fishing. Today we're going to tie the egg laying caddis. There's a number of variations of this fly out there. This one is very similar to one tied by Barry Clark. It's easy to tie, it floats high, and it's great to fish when the female caddis are on the water laying eggs. It's recommended that you tie this in sizes 10 through 16. The hook we're going to use today is a Daiichi 1160 in a size 12. It's also referred to as their clink hammer hook got a real deep bend to it and we're going to start using some UTC thread and fluorescent chartreuse. This is uh, 70 denier and we'll get our tie started. A couple eye lengths behind the hook eye and we're going to wrap back past the bend of the hook. This is going to form the egg sac. Give it a little counterclockwise spin to flatten the thread out and start to build up a ball here. And once we've got the egg sac formed, we can tie in our next material. That's just going to be some uh, single strand of flash boo. And we'll just run that back to where the start of that egg sac is. Get that in my material clip to get it out of our way. The body is just a turkey flat. You can also use a turkey tail feather. I think the flats, the individual fibers are a a bit thinner than turkey tail feathers. Coloring's the same, nice, pretty mottled color. And we're going to tie these in by the tips. Even those up a bit. Cutaways, I'm not going to be able to capture those, so we'll just cut them off. Got our hackle pliers. And we're going to wrap this up to our tie in point. Forms a nice mottled colored body. And we'll capture our material, cut off our excess, and run up our rib, make some even open spiral turns, adds just a little bit of flash to the fly, and also protects the body material, which is kind of fragile. You reach your tie-in point, you capture the flashaboo. Cut off your excess. Next, we're going to change thread. I'm going to go with uh, some 50D GSP Vivas in black. The wing is going to be deer hair, and I prefer to use GSP to tie that in. Next, we're going to tie in our underwing. It's just some CDC dun colored, natural dun colored. Got one feather all picked out here. And we're going to tie this in right on top at the start of the body, and we want it to be back just as far maybe as the egg sac. Cut off our excess. I'm going to neaten that up. So the thorax of the fly is next, and we're going to form a real small dubbing loop here. And that's going to be made from some Nature Spirit snowshoe rabbit foot dubbing and the color is hare's ear. Nice long spiky material. Just a small pinch of this is all we're going to need. The thorax isn't very big. But by putting it in a dubby loop, a dubbing loop, it, it makes the thorax nice and spiky rather than just dubbing it on the thread. So 
spin that up. And wrap that around, form a nice spiky thorax like that. When we reach the eye, we'll capture our material. Cut the thread. I'm going to run that thread back just about a half an eye length or so. Where we're going to tie in our wing, just going to be some natural deer hair. And we'll cut a clump out that's maybe a half a pencil width in diameter. Got our Stonfo tool here and rid of all the short, fuzzy stuff. Put it in a stacker. Tips all evened up nice. Got a few broken hairs in there. That looks pretty good. I'm going to measure this out to be just back to the edge of the back of the hook, a little longer than that underwing. And I'm going to make a sunburst head. So I cut off all of the material that I am not going to use, pull that out up to the eye. Two tight turn, loose turns, now a tight turn, one more, and jump our thread up to the eye, let go. Nice full wing, look at that. Got our whip finish tool, four or five turn whip finish, seat our knot, and cut the thread, and some head cement. This is Loon's water based, that'll soak into that really good. A little flick cleans the material out of the eye, and our fly is finished. Please feel free to add comments at the bottom of the page and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to view all the new content here at Trident Fly Fishing. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you again next time.